What is going on, boys? Swaggy's here. Uh, so, uh, big surprise today. Uh, we got an actual uh, new final trailer from Blumhouse about the actual FNAF movie. That's crazy. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really expect that. Well, kind of. I expected something to come out because somebody told me, like, oh, wait until tomorrow. You might see something, you know, something new. Uh, didn't expect this. So, thank you for commenting that, Osman. Honestly, it really helps out. <laughs> I really didn't expect this. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. This came out just four hours ago. I wanted to go ahead and see it. And uh, yeah, just in general, like I said, it took me a surprise. Uh, this was uploaded by Blumhouse, so that's that's really cool. I love that. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get down to the video of self distractions. This is two minutes long. I hope you get to see something new. Okay. Oh, there's a pirate cove. Oh, okay. <coughs> Yo, Ooh. Oh, bro, okay. Damn. Whoa. What's going on here? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn. The coverage was mauling him. Piece of cake, really. Yeah, that cupcake was just... Damn, bro. Bro got soloed. This is pretty cool. Huh. Hello? That was cool. Welcome to Freddy's. Have you met them yet? Met who? Foxy. Bonnie. Okay. Meet Freddy. Yo. Oh, they look so cool. Back it's in the 80s. <coughs> what is this? Huh. That's why the place shut down. Damn. The police searched Yo. Hey. That was really cool. Never found the kids. <laughs> uh. That's. Who is this person here? No, why are you looking in there, bro? Why are you looking? Damn. Okay. Ghost children. That's so cool. Possessing Yo. giant robots. Damn. Oh, God, stop them. Bro, got, bro from the grasper. It's too late. He's coming. <laughs> Yo! No, bro, oh my. What is going on? <coughs> okay. Uh, first of all, I gotta go He's back coming. here. I gotta go back here for a minute. <laughs> Why is bro stood like that? Why is bro standing like that? <laughs> Bro's gonna do that one move. It's like, uh, from that one, it's just like, future. I forgot. Uh, I think it was called like, uh, something at Sandry. I can't remember. Anyways, overall, bro's looking goofy. I love it. Uh, <laughs> then the next scene, bro literally pulls up. Okay, bro. <laughs> that was really cool. That was really cool. So, First of all, I do want to, you know, go into, you know, a little bit of like a little bit, you know, just diving here and there. I love this. This looks so cool. They just, that was, they like nice. Just the general stains you can see on them. They look really like, they're really dirty. I'm not going to lie. Really gross. Foxy. But yo, they look so cool. There's Foxy for the first time we get to see him in full view. That's so cool. I love it. Bonnie. There's Bonnie, bro's looking nasty. There's Chica too. Yeah, there's Freddy right there. And you could see actual like animatronic parts or like actual robotic pieces. You know, through the just the general fakeness of like the ears and the eyebrows, it looks so good. I'm not gonna lie, I love it all. And yeah, bro, bro, why does Freddy got such huge hips? That is crazy. Uh Bros, bros got that. Bros got some there. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm purely kidding. What is this? That's why the place shut down. Love it. Okay, what is this, huh? What is this? Some sort of torture device that is just set up in an office somewhere? What is going on here? There's just rotating blades underneath the Freddy mask heading towards uh, our boy Mike's face. That's that's not great. I don't know what's going on here. The police search Freddy's. Bros, okay. that's so they cool. Never found the kids. 
Uh, by the way, who is this person, bro? Um, like, who is this person? That's just trying, that's like, oh, let me go up to Freddy. I'm gonna give him a big old bear hug. Who is this? Big old forehead, looking like an alien. Looking like a am I'm just kidding, that's so rude. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay, but for real, uh, why would you just approach the actual suit itself? Puts a whole chair down just to get up to this thing. That's how big it is. And does it look like the, the mouth is moving, opening even wider? That's crazy. There's a whole arm in there. Why is that there? Anyways, uh, so uh, yeah, without any further ado, uh, that was cool. I'm not gonna lie, I love that. That was amazing. Uh, oh, they look so cool. The, the, the characters themselves look so cool. And I can't wait to see more of them in the theater itself uh, when I go there to see the movie. But overall, I do want to go to this one scene. Uh, just want to go back to it, uh, see what's up with it. Uh, not this one. <laughs> Bonnie's just stood there, though. There's Corey Kenshin, I guess. Hold up. Ghost. That was cool. Fox is just opening the curtain. That was nice. Possess. Uh, don't know what's going on there. Bro looks freaky still, but yeah. Robots. That Tell scene. Hold on. Possessing giant robots. Damn it! I missed it just barely. Oh. Hold on. Let me see if I can go back to it. So there's Fox that just stood there while. Okay, there we go. Uh, who is this? You can't even see the color because of the lighting itself, which is maybe even more confusing. So, I don't exactly know if this is, like, actually uh, William Afton in the suit, or if this is just another one of the animatronics. Either way, though, uh, somebody's just getting grabbed. That is crazy. I'm not going to lie. But overall, really cool overall. I love this. And this is so cool. Okay, I can't stop talking about how cool it is. Anyways, without any further ado, that's basically the trailer itself. General thoughts and video itself. It was amazing. I love it. The designs of the characters look so cool. The story itself seems to be uh, getting really interesting now. I don't know what's going on. And I hope to see the movie itself when it comes out. And uh, <coughs> other than that, though, uh, I love how the pizzeria looks. It looks so cool. Uh, just in general, has that really, like, you know, old vibe. Just everything looking kind of run down. But overall, just in general, uh, really nice overall i loved how it looks and everything just looks so cool uh by the way uh why did these guys just break into an old pizzeria just to smash some things i mean i get like you know those stress rooms but like come on bro apparently somebody still owns that building other than that though just in general that was really cool i really enjoyed it and i hope you guys did too but anyways without that being said and done that kind of concludes the reaction itself so of course if you you know uh i'm gonna get into a more of a in-depth analysis in a minute so uh just like if you want to stick around for that you're more than welcome to but overall like i said um that's kind of concludes the reaction uh, part of the video itself so uh yes yeah, so if you're here for just a reaction then that's kind of it so please before you go hit the like button and subscribe it really helps with the channel and i really appreciate it so thank you very much if you do that and uh yeah without any further ado let's get into the second part of the video itself so uh yeah let's get down to it so how i usually do this is that i usually divide the video into three parts now for you know the stuff that I usually react to, I usually do the beat, the lyrics, and then the animation. But for this one, since it's different, we're gonna do the overall, like just the the story. We're gonna do the character designs, and then we're gonna go into the the environments or the you know the setting design. So uh, yeah, let's get down to it. So uh, yeah, first of all, the story itself seems to be uh, you know very much just like oh. Uh, you know, just in general, like Mike, you know, gets a job at this runk, rinky dinky pizzeria, maybe looking for some clues about some incident that happened. And then all of a sudden, we get a introduction to Vanny or Vanessa, the police guard, or but the she's a police officer. Anyways, other than that, though, she gives a lot of very um, weird advice. Have you met them yet? Have you met them? The animatronics, uh, that kind of thing. So that is very interesting. So overall, really, really cool. Overall, the story just looks to be sort of like, uh, uh, overall, just like how it is. Just, uh, you know, 
If he goes to the pizzeria, finds out the animatronics are alive, starts figuring out more clues about what's going on here, finds out about the ghost children that apparently exist there, and overall, just uh, either tries to find a way to free them or tries to find a way to escape. So, other than that though, just in general, really cool plot so far, and uh, overall, I hope to see the uh, minor details that come out of this story, and it looks amazingly good so far. So without any further ado, let's go into the actual character designs themselves. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, uh, they look really cool. They do actual animatronic, you know, animatronic characters of you know the FNAF gang. Uh, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy look amazing. Freddy does have a lot of weird things about him. Uh, Bro's got huge hips. He's got little uh, thinner legs than I thought he would. But overall, Bro is still big as hell. Like somebody had it like a whole grown adult had to put a chair down, stand on it, and basically just to get to his mouth. That is crazy. That is crazy. And then uh, other than that, though, just in general, these animatronics are huge. That cupcake was the size of that dude's head, or I think it was. I don't exactly know, but either way, Bro got soloed by the cupcake. That is crazy. Uh, other than that though, I love how we saw another scene of Corey Kenshin uh, in the actual trailer itself. That's so cool. I love it. But other than that though, just in general, uh, the character designs look crazy. I love it. They look so uh, they look so similar to how they look in the game itself. Except for the eyes. That's something that you know people were talking about, but I don't really care. I just want to see this movie done. But overall, I love the designs. Foxy looks amazing, and I, we finally get to see him for the first time ever, and that's so cool. Uh, but <coughs> Sorry. Uh, like I was saying, overall, the character designs, amazing. I love them all. They look so cool, and overall, just this looks like an exciting movie. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get out to the actual environments of the, you know, the settings of the movie. Uh, by the way, one more thing. The character design of just the, the old spring lock suit, uh, the spring, you know, Frank Bonnie suit looks so cool. I love it. It's just, bro is standing so goofy. Why is he doing that? Overall, really cool. I love it. And overall, it just looks really, really cool. Uh, anyways, like I was saying though, the environments themselves, really, really cool. I love them all. And overall, it just really give that sort of, uh, like old rundown restaurant or, you know, abandoned building vibes. They do. It does really give off that kind of feeling. Um, and overall, it's just amazingly well done. I love how everything still kind of works. The lighting, uh, everything kind of still there. The you know the arcade games they started smashing them though. So I mean I I might not you know, might not get to see uh, any of the arcade games that would be available in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, but we couldn't get pretty close. So other than that though, just in general, uh, yeah, I really love how they made it look like an actual restaurant. Like you'd actually go there to eat, maybe play some games. Very Chuck E. Cheese esque. And I love that. I love that. That's just kind of, that's really cool. Other than that though, just in general, the entire place looks amazing. The office itself is so cool as well. And there's just that weird laptop thing, kind of, I think it was like, somebody mentioned it was like a security camera, uh, helps with the security cameras. I forgot it was. But other than that though, just in general, really cool, like, environment, and we're going to see, and overall, look amazing. And overall, it just looks like a lot of love and, you know, just a lot of, effort has been put into the movie itself and I'm excited to see it when it comes out on like October 27th I believe they said and yeah this Halloween they said overall I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too so without any further ado that kind of concludes the video itself if you guys enjoyed please go check out the original you know the original video link down below so go show your support to Blumhouse and all that as uh you know overall they just work real hard in the movie itself so without any further ado um, other than that though, if you guys enjoyed this video in any way possible, hit the like button, subscribe, it really helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it, so thank you very much if you do that. And also, uh, consider, you know, hitting the notification button for the next time I upload, if you want to, you know, be notified for every time I upload a video. Uh, I'm gonna do the, <clears throat> I'm gonna do the rest of that, uh, uh, the, the, uh, first nights, uh, at Fred Bears, or Fred, uh, it's like the first night at Freddy's, uh, I'm gonna continue doing that later on today, but overall, just, really cool video that i saw today and overall uh yeah like i was saying uh just in general uh thank you guys for watching and uh also thank you for watching this with me i really do appreciate you guys sticking around for the whole video and uh yeah comment down below what you think of the math movie so far and what do you which character looks you know the best you know foxy bonnie chick or freddy uh personally i think foxy looks the coolest but that's probably just because i've seen it for the first time today but other than that though uh just in general uh let me know your thoughts on the movie itself I'm really interested to hear what you guys say, and I'll be sure to reply to as many comments as I can as soon as I can. So, 
With all that being said and done, have a great day, and I'll be seeing you boys later on. Bye-bye.